Today I want to go over the subject of how do I calculate my calories? As I have helped so many people over the past year, I find that this is one of the most confusing parts of trying to figure out how to get healthy. And the question always comes up, how many calories can I eat? Now there are many ways to figure out your diet, but I feel using the Harris Benedict formula that we'll be going over is pretty much black and white, and there's little to no guessing. While I don't think the that other programs that tell you exactly what to eat are bad, I don't feel they give you enough knowledge to understand how eating a piece of cake or having an extra serving of pasta will affect your progress. I don't know about you, but I do like a piece of cake on occasion. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have two formulas, one for a man and one for a woman. These formulas are to help figure out our basal metabolic rate, or BMR. But what is BMR? This is the rate that your body burns calories if we are just laying in bed doing nothing but breathing and letting our heart beat. Now keep in mind that these formulas do not take into account working out or even moving. This is just you laying in bed. The three variables that are used are weight, height, and age. The taller and heavier a person is, the more calories you'll burn. But as we get older and our metabolic rate tends to lower, we burn less calories. Also, as you can see, women have a higher starting base rate due to women tending to have more body fat ratio than men. We'll be going over these calculations in a later video, so don't worry too much about all the numbers. But know this is what I base everything on that we will be discussing. But as we don't lay in bed 24-7, we have to figure out what we burn. So when I am figuring out someone's base calorie target, or BCT, I will first figure out if, as if they had a sedentary lifestyle. If you are familiar with the Harris Benedict formula, the reason that I don't figure out an active lifestyle is because most of us don't play basketball or run exactly the same every day and at the exact same intensity. But we do get up and walk, get ready and walk every day. So as you can see here, we take our BMR and times it by 1.2, giving us our maintenance calorie intake. And this really covers us getting up, getting ready for work, driving to work, chasing the kids around, etc. The next thing that we need to figure out is our base calorie target. Now this is going to be different for each person as some people will want to lose weight, some will want to gain weight, and then some will just want to maintain their weight. And we'll go over that in, in their next video. In part two of the series, we will use, we'll use some of the examples to explain the, the formulas that we just went over and some theories on weight loss and weight gain.